Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me for another bonus episode in the series in which I'm sharing our family's experiences in the last year of our daughter Hannah's life, which spanned from February 2008 through February 2009. My desire is to process through the events of those 12 months with a perspective that 16 years has brought and to point listeners to hope in Jesus along the way. I'm grateful you've joined me. This is bonus episode number 112, Family Photo Shoot, October 13, 2008. Things were continuing to go well with Hannah's tomotherapy radiation treatments, other than a recurrence of low platelet issues. We were used to that, though, so we were able to pretty much take that in stride. We spent the weekend in Briggsville, Arkansas, which is the Sullivan family farm and gathering place. While we were there, my sister-in-law pulled out her camera, and we did a family photo shoot. Hannah's hair was really starting to let loose, and we wanted to get some photos of our family before it fell out completely. Posing for those pictures that day was surreal, as we did so with the full awareness that unless God miraculously intervened, these could very well be the last family photos we would ever take. Of course, we didn't want the girls to know that, so we posed as directed and smiled on cue. And oh, what a treasure these pictures are today. Hannah's grave, actually her future resurrection site, is just about a half a mile from where those photos were taken. Here's my email from 16 years ago today. Today we went to Arkansas Children's Hospital for blood work and to see Hannah's oncologist, followed by her daily radiation treatment at CARTI. Her doctor was pleased with how well she is doing and the fact that the side effects of the radiation have thus far been minimal. But he did tell us that her platelet count has dropped pretty low. So tomorrow we will go for radiation at 8.30 a.m., followed by a transfusion of platelets at Children's Hospital. He also wants us to come back on Friday after radiation for another blood draw to check her platelet count again. Apparently, radiation to the spinal cord can really cause a drop in platelet production, and they want to keep on top of that. Over the weekend, we had the opportunity to get together with several of Brad's family members, and my sister-in-law, who's a great photographer, took several pictures of our family. It is such a blessing to have had these photos taken. We are so thankful that Hannah is feeling well overall and that we have been blessed with such a great medical staff to oversee her care. We are also filled with gratitude for all the family, friends, and strangers who have done so much for us. We can never thank you enough for the prayers, emails, cards, phone calls, gifts, meals, etc. We see these expressions of love as symbolic of what Jesus Christ has done for all of us, and His salvation is the ultimate gift. I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hands. Psalm 31, 14 and 15. God is good all the time. Jill and Brad.